Production Live here with Brunson Green, the producer of The Help. How many times have you seen The Help so far? Uh, I'd say about a hundred times. <laughs> Do you still like it? Yeah, I love the movie. I, when I see clips, when we're at all these award shows, when I see clips, I still tear up. So um, I'm just so proud of all the actresses uh, and how um, all the accolades they've gotten and just what a great job they did. So uh, yeah, you know, it's like it's like my baby. Were you a big fan of the book? Uh, Catherine Stockett wrote the novel, who's from my hometown, and uh, best friends with Tay Taylor, who's also from Jackson. And so uh, Tay gave me the book and uh, as a manuscript, and because he says it's an amazing story, I'd love to make it into a movie. So when I read it, uh, towards the end, I was on an airplane sitting in coach in the middle between two people, and I remember I was crying at the end uh, because I was so proud of Catherine, but also because it was such a touching story that I loved so much, and I was so excited to, to start making it into a movie. How many years ago was that? That was in October of 2008. So, uh, wait, no, 2007. Wow. It's been, it's been uh, over four years. What was the best part about making this film? Uh, I think the best part about making The Help was that we created kind of a summer camp atmosphere in Mississippi. Uh, we were in a town of about 10,000 people, all great, great characters, and that opened up their hearts and their homes to us. And uh, every weekend, we really had nothing to do, so we would just all hang out together. So uh, it was a lot like high school, but a, a friendly high school. Not There were no mean girls uh, in, in, <laughs> in, our, in, in our high school. Uh, and that camaraderie and that sense that we were doing something really special, and we all wanted to be there just to tell a story, was, um, and I get a paycheck, was kind of really a special experience. Did you expect the film to do so well while you were making it? Um, there, we knew there was a rabid fan base, and Tate and I figured, my guess was $120 million, and everybody thought we were crazy. But just knowing that so many people had read the book and passed the book along to other people, we knew we'd have this fan base of book clubbers that would go see the film first. And then if, if we did a good job and made the film well, they were going to go see it again with other people that hadn't seen it yet. So I, I had a feeling that it was going to do pretty well. Was it difficult and competitive to get involved in the project just because it was such a big uh, seller, the novel? Oh, no, actually, um, Tate and I acquired the rights to the book before uh, it was published. We, I mean, she had a publisher, but um, Catherine really trusted us to know that we would um, do a great job on the film. And, uh, you know, it would, I, we, I basically what I told Catherine was the, the, movie, the, the movie will end up where it needs to be, where it should be. And DreamWorks was the perfect place to make the film. I mean, they, they uh, have a stellar reputation. They're great people. And then Participant Media came in um, as co-financiers. And they, um, they make movies with positive social messages and social change. And so that was actually the first person I ever gave the manuscript to three and a half years ago, before, even before DreamWorks. Do you think you'll be doing more films about social change? I've got several things that I'm developing right now that are um, have similar messages and uh, are inspirational true stories, so hopefully we'll get to see those soon. And how does it feel to be nominated for so many awards? Oh, it's it's been a blast. The whole award season's been really, really fun. And what's kind of neat about it is you're, um, you see the same people. It's almost like a little club of this year's Oscar nominees, so. Uh, Do you feel special? I don't know if it's feel special, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Like when you're like, you know, you're like saying hi to Brad Pitt and George Clooney and just, you know, right. That's not, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's been fun. It's been good. And, uh, but it's going to be over in about a week. So I'm thrilled. I'm ready. I'm ready to take a break. Too many parties. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Brunson, and best of luck at the awards and with your upcoming projects. Thanks. Appreciate it. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live.